next. I have to set the stage for this whole situation. I love foundation. I love the complexion. I love delicious looking skin because it sets the rest of the makeup off, okay? So in my time, I've collected a fair amount of foundations. I see somebody on YouTube try it. I like the results, I might get it. Um, I hear descriptions about it and it's kind of the foundation that I like. I buy it, I try it. I'm always on the hunt, okay? I love foundation that is very skin-like and smooth. Just really hydrating and nice. It doesn't look like a mask on your face and it really lets your natural skin kind of shine through. That's what I like. All that to say, with my love of foundations and the market, how quick these foundations come out, I've accumulated a fair bit of foundation. So I'm this, I'm getting this, I got this and that, but it's still not it for me. And maybe it's like the consumer in me or something. I don't know. I don't know. At this point in my life, in my makeup journey, I just kind of step back and I say, let me look into my collection let me see what i have let me reuse these products because i bought them for a reason and maybe there's a gem in here somewhere digging through my makeup collection that really is the foundation for me and i just forgot about it so that's where we are today i dug through dug dig mm, mm, and i found a gem a sweet baby gem this is by Chanel, Le Tint Ultra Tenu in the shade 132 Chocolat. This is the needle in the haystack. This is the gem. And guess what? It's discontinued. It's discontinued. And I'm sad. And I just want to come on here and talk about it a little bit. So, you know, I just love shopping my stash and seeing what I have and it's a fun way to get inspired by my existing collection and not feel as though I have to go out and purchase new makeup to feel fulfilled. So, I remembered, you know, sifting through my foundation, I remembered that I enjoyed this Chanel foundation. And at the time, it was years ago, this is old. This is old. This is how it looks. Look at that color. Um, this was a while ago that I've had this foundation. And I remember getting it at the Chanel counter. And I was trying a couple different shades. And the shade range was whack. I really think this was... Was this before Fenty? I don't know y'all, I've had this in the stash. It's probably old, but I mean, it applies beautifully. Anyway, I just remember the shade range was poor, and, and I always feel that, especially as a woman of color, and now it's on trend to be inclusive and um, deepen shade ranges. So I've always felt the hurt, felt the pain, the suffering of not having shades that I could try, you know, of a foundation that I'm really interested in. But this was a shade option, so I went with it and it works. It works. Look, and I think that's why it just kind of set it the whole thing off for me. It's this beautiful foundation and I believe, what does it say? Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. It's supposed to have this like semi matte kind of finish, which is great because that's the type of finish I want for my skin because I'm oily. And I've said this before, I'm an oily girl, but I want my skin to be healthy and vibrant and not mask-like. And this foundation controls the oils it gives you a bit of like natural shine a natural satiny kind of finish while keeping the color and it stays stays and everything stays on top of it and 
I just went back and tried it again and I said, you know, I'm gonna wear it for the whole day. I'm just gonna see what's up. Wow. I said, okay, this is it. Why am I playing? Why am I playing around when I have what I need right here? It's my color, it works. What? Like, what's the problem here? You know, I pull it out, I'm using it, I'm feeling good about it, thinking about the age on it. Nowhere to be found. So I'm just like kind of frantic, like, what's so... No. No. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I've come to my senses and this is the foundation that I need in my life and I'm here to claim my love and they're nowhere to be found. It's like a very sad, deep, dark, romantic drama. I came to my senses going back to my love and then I see him cradled in the arms of another woman or just not there like where are you you know what I mean like and I see a replacement like I said this one is Le Tent Ultra Tenu please excuse my pronunciation um this I see a replacement this new girl is Le Tent Ultra or something like that no Tenu no tenu not sure if it compares you know i went on a couple different forums to try to see what people are saying but to no avail really so at this point i'm kind of freaking out like mm, well, this is beautiful, so I need to have like a couple of them in my arsenal. Like, they gotta be floating around here somewhere. So, I just took to the web and searched the foundation and tried to find a couple bottles. Like, fuck, what's good? And it took forever, forever to find a replacement product or to find it on another website in my shade on top of that, in my shade. But guess how I got this mega deal, mega, mega deal. Poshmark. Poshmark, this random chick, a white chick, had my shade. 132 Chocula. And selling them, either you could buy one of them, she had two bottles, you could buy one or you could buy the two, right? And she got them, she had like her receipt, she recently purchased it in like early February and um, yeah, I ordered them like um, a couple weeks ago. But, and she got it, I believe it was from Berghoff Goodman, possibly. But she marked out on the receipt how much she got it for. So they must have been discounting, like getting um, rid of the product maybe since they discontinued it and she just snagged them. I mean, bless her, I guess. She knew, she knew what was good. And she went right up there on Poshmark and sold it. Um, the foundation is $60. And when I looked it up again, I was like, damn, girl, that's how much you paid? Like, uh, 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 uh. Okay. $60. But she, I, you know, oh, and did I say, no. I, to I said Poshmark, it was actually on Mercari, M-E-R-C-A-R-I, on that um, selling service. So you know you can communicate with these people, it's like a Poshmark where other people are selling. So you know I just try to get a little bit of a deal out of her. I said well I'll buy the two bottles 
for $55. Whereas one bottle alone would be $60. And she was fine with that. She was cool. We did the deal. I got two bottles, two extra backup bottles for $55. So cheaper than one bottle originally. And after I searched a little bit more, I did find the makeup on some website i'm gonna i'm gonna put it down below in the description box so you can see if you like like the finish and how it's coming out and wanted to pick up a one of the last bottles the last couple of babies that we have out here i will link that for you for sure but i did find one website that had a couple options on there and they were still sixty dollars so i definitely scored a deal now the like worry wart in me I'm I'm like am I gonna use them or is that enough like do I need more do I buy more bottles buy more bottles hand sanitizer wipes like if I should buy like one more bottle but after getting that deal I'm like this is so good right now buy a whole nother bottle for $60 when I got two of them like am I really really gonna need a third bottle and you all tell me because maybe I will need a third bottle like I I may need a third bottle I mean honestly what do you think I should do please let me know should I just get one more like three bottles to charm or what because I mean like look at this and the thing is is the makeup you put on top it just meshes with the product so well and I like creams and like very natural kind of products and they mesh and melt onto the foundation so freaking well it's just like I'm in love discontinued products you can find some discontinued products like let's not get crazy like crazy MAC collections and whatnot but some discontinued products you can hunt down on the market but at the same time there may be some fees associated with such products as well because of their value they're not around not easily accessible any longer And I mean, they're making so many new products all the time. It's outrageous. So there's got to be something on the market that can hopefully suffice. But like I said, this foundation thing out here, I guess I'm difficult. I didn't know that I was so difficult, but I had to... I had to resort to the Chanel one. I had to do it. Now answer phone, please. Answer phone? Not answer phone. Oh my goodness. I have it right here by me and I didn't even hear it ring. I'm sorry, pig. It wasn't for the gate, it was just for calling you. Oh. Uh, you, uh, out orange push pop. Oh, my piglet. Thank you. Going down here. How was the game? 10 out in 10 oh. 35 and 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. Worth the decision we have gone down there. Mm.
Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock, my wrist going nuts Niggas call me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day the number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell a shit, it is what it is Said what I had to and did what I did Never turn my back on FBG, God forbid Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, doing front flips Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit Working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist, going nuts Niggas call me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, I hope so cool That's cool, man Got red bottoms on Life is good <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, Tossed out for the cheapest 